In this tutorial, we'll discuss the brand new features in Elementor version 3.8 and 3.8 Pro. Starting with this version, they'll be releasing both free and pro versions at the same time. Now here's the first feature. If you have a website kit installed on your website, or if you have imported a website kit from Elementor library, in, in case you can see that this is my website right now, you can remove that website kit in case you don't need it with just click off a button. Go to Elementor, click on Tools, under Settings, click on Import Export Kit. So you just need to be under Tools in Elementor Dashboard Entry. And now there's a button called Remove Kit. So with just click of a button, you can remove the whole website kit. It will remove the header, footer, the color scheme and even the fonts that the kit has installed and your website will be reverted back to normal. Now if I visit my site now, it's back to its old look before the theme kit was installed. So this is the first feature in Elementor 3.8. And the second feature is that now Flexbox container is available as an experiment. So if we go to Elementor, click on settings and go to experiments and scroll all the way down, you'll find something called Flexbox container. Turn it active and click on save changes. That will activate the Flexbox container. And it's really powerful. I have ton of videos explaining how you can use them and the advantages. All links will be in the description, but this is a huge change fundamental to Elementor. And the third feature is called Loop Builder. I've already discussed about it. Again, there'll be a ton of tutorial links in the description. But if you go to your Theme Builder interface, now there is a separate entry called Loop Item. And if you click on that, you can basically create a post grid and design individual item within that grid just by using Elementor. Previously, you had to install Elementor custom skin, but now you can do it all on your own. So once you click on loop item, you can drag in the elements that you need for your grid. So you need title. I'll just click on this container, give it a minimum height, maybe around 400 pixels or so. I'll just click on this container, click on style, go to background and under background image, I'll set it to featured image. And this doesn't have to be the regular post. It can be even your custom post types. You can pull in dynamic data using dynamic options and design a loop grid. So once you're happy with the grid, you can publish the grid or the loop item and it's awesome. Now you can go back to your WordPress interface. You can create a new page with Elementor. Let's call it grid one. And I'll just publish this page and I'll just click on edit with Elementor. Since you've created a loop item, you can form a grid using that loop item. So you can click on the settings cog. I'll change the page layout to Elementor full width. I'll click on the widgets button at the top. Now if you scroll down under pro widgets, there's something called loop grid. Just click and drag it. I don't remember the name. In fact, we didn't even give it a name. So this is the loop item that we created and it will basically pull all the elements using the same design. Essentially, you're designing the grid by designing an individual element. And you can also customize the grid or edit the loop item design by clicking on edit template. You can click on save changes. That will take you to the design within the element. Now you can simply change anything you want. And once you're happy with the changes, you can click on save and back and you'll be back to the loop container. So you have changed both the loop item and the loop grid. And you can click on this loop grid and you can change the query from posts to pages and you can even change it to any custom post type such as products. So if I change it to products, you can see it pulls in the all the product related data since products are basically custom post types, right? So this is how it works. I have ton of tutorials where you can make powerful post grids using even CSS and Elementor Flexbox container. All those links will be in the description. So those are the brand new features in Elementor version 3.8 and 3.8 Pro. If you don't have the Pro version, you can get it from the link in the description. There are a ton of tutorials coming out, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.